Check that out. Isn't that beautiful? It is beautiful. I'm going to show you exactly how to make it at home right now on the Aimless Cook. Today we're making the ramen burger. And I guess the most challenging part of making the ramen burger is the actual ramen buns. It's very easy to do and we're going to start with some fresh ramen noodles. In this case we got some from Sun Noodles from Hawaii. So we're just going to put them into some boiling water and let them cook for about 3 or 4 minutes until they are done. From there we're just going to strain them really well and then put them into a large mixing bowl. Once I let my noodles cool down a little in that bowl, I'm going to add a raw egg. I'm just going to beat that egg and mix it all together until all of the noodles are evenly coated. Now right here I got some molds that I use to uh, make onigiri or hamburger patties. And this is the perfect size for what we're going to do next. So I'm just going to put those ramen noodles, which have been coated with the egg, into the mold. And I'm just going to weigh them down, press it down, and then set them in the fridge. Now of course you can use ramekins or ring molds if you want to. But the point is that we want to get it into a form that's going to look like a bun. Now while the ramen is setting in the fridge, I'm going to start on the filling. And in this case, instead of a burger, we're going to use a beef teriyaki, which is very, very easy to do. So I'm going to start with a chopped onion here in some oil, and I'm just going to saute that until that is lightly caramelized. So at this point, I'm going to add about 10 ounces of thinly sliced beef. And I'm just going to continue to cook that until my beef starts to cook. And once that does start to do that, you'll start to change color. We're going to add a mixture of about two tablespoons of soy sauce, two tablespoons of mirin, and two tablespoons of sugar. Now to that, you also want to add about a quarter cup of dashi, and that is going to form the base of our sauce. So we're just going to stir that in and continue to cook everything until it is done. Now in a few hours in the fridge, I'm going to take out my ramen buns and by now they should have set. So right now they should be looking like this, which is perfect shape, perfect size and ready for our next step. Now I've got a skillet on medium high heat that I coated with some cooking spray. And I'm just going to put my ramen down on it and I'm going to fry them until they're lightly browned and warm through. Now all that's left to do is just pile everything on. And in this case, I got a lot of stuff to pile on. And it's nice and messy, which is perfect. Now of course you can do this with a burger patty, with cheese, or with teriyaki, and some green onion. Possibilities here are endless. Okay, so let's give this thing a try. First thing I notice is like I need a napkin. Excuse me. The first thing I notice about this is the texture. Of course it's not bread, but you know what? It's actually a little bit better. If you're not used to liking, like if you don't like bread, and I don't eat a lot of bread, then the texture of these ramen noodles is perfect. They stay together even when you have uh, the meat soaking into it, so it's really nice that way. And everything kind of melts together when you bite into it, it's really good. Mm. So that's it, that's my recipe. I hope you enjoyed it, I hope you take it home, make it yours, and have fun in the kitchen, which brings me to my question of the day. If you make your own ramen buns at home, what are you gonna put in between? Let me know in the comments down below, and I'll see you next time.